This is the Gigabyte Z270X Ultra Gaming. In this video, we're going to have a closer look at the product, talk about the feature set, the performance, overclocking ability, price tag, and most importantly, should you go for it. So the bundle is a bit basic, but for 120 to 130 pounds, it's about right. First impressions of the product are really good. It is ultra clean and sleek. Now, they've still managed to cram on a lot of features, despite this very clean and minimal design that they've gone for. It's very, very black in terms of design with some silver accents. Now, the storage options are a little bit unusual. We have SATA, SATA Express, and U2, which means there was only room for a single M2 slot. The lighting is quite impressive considering the price point once again, and it works really well against the all black PCB with these additional black and silver points around the board. So yes, despite its lower price point and the ultra clean look, there was a lot of features on here that you would not expect, headers, connectivity, so overall first impressions are great. IO is reasonably packed with some extra additions, such as the audio optimized ports, USB type C, and some other cool additions. So then let's try and wrap this all up with an award and my verdict, good points, bad points. So let's start with the bad points first that I haven't covered in this video yet, um, but I did mention in the written review, and that is the BIOS. Um, I've said this in other Gigabyte reviews on past products, particularly the X99 stuff. I'm just not a fan of the layout. It feels oh, old, clunky, and just unfinished, um, that's probably the best way I can describe it. Now, what I also said in the written review is, the reality is when you get your new system and you set it up, you're probably only gonna go into the BIOS once or twice if you do any significant hardware changes, obviously to memory, and you wanna change the frequency. That's about it, so really, should we care? And I suppose not, but I just wish that uh, Gigabyte could iron this out and bring it up to date because that's the single weak area for me. In terms of good points and positives, I really, really like this board now. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm a big fan of keeping things simple, whether it be just an all white or an all black. So uh, this product would have been 99% black and then just having these very small and uh, subtle silver and gray accents works extremely well. And again, RGB, I feel myself digressing and going back over and sort of contradicting myself here because I'm actually a fan of the RGB implementation here. Um, I'll be honest, the first wave of RGB products on GPUs and motherboards particularly, they were poor. Uh, you know, it was very much just a case of brands jumping on the bandwagon and quick, let's put some LEDs there and the consumer will love it, but we didn't. And uh, this generation on Z270, it's been tackled with a lot more logic. The software is exceptional. Uh, the amount of control for zones and effects. You've got a mobile or a cell app. Uh, so yes, it's much better than past versions. So in terms of the overall design and what you can then do with it with the lighting is very, very good. Um, layout and everything like that. My only gripe is the U2 port. Um, for it being a gaming product for around about £150, I don't think many users are going to be coupling this product up with a U2 drive and they would have preferred to have a second M2 slot. Again, you could argue that you know, if you were a gamer, you're probably just going to have one drive in there. But one of the you know perks and the drawn points 
that pulls you to Z270 versus Z170 is dual or triple M2. So to see it omitted for a U2 port seems a little bit odd to me, but strong aesthetics, um, slightly so-so BIOS, RGB is solid, uh, feature set is very strong, performance was really, really good. Um, and by that, I mean, this is a middle range product with a middle range price. And when you look at the charts on the written review, it sits in the middle consistently through every test. There isn't any areas such as the sound or the USB or the audio where it's weaker. It's just straight across the board, middle tier product. So, you know, in, in one sense, you could look at that and say, well, it's an average product. Well, yeah, maybe, but uh, it's a solid product that doesn't have any weak areas neither. So should you buy this versus the other wave of products around 150 pounds? It's tough. Um, Z170 was a nice, you know, wrapping every product up into one. I could just say they were all nice looking. Z270 is exceptional. Um, so it's very much down to your taste, but if you want something that performs well um, and you know, there's no weaker areas, I would very much recommend this product. So. Uh, as always, I still don't have a very interesting and enticing way to get all these boring, you know, not boring, but whatever, numbers and charts and diagrams and things in a video format. I'm working on it, but for now, please head off to the written review. If you're on mobile, it's down in the description. If you're on PC, it's probably an annotation or a card or something, but do check the description below. Um, we'll have some links to purchase, check the current prices from all the UK retailers and Amazon. I'll get a little bit of a kickback if you buy from me, so that would be cool. And as, yeah, the detailed side of it that I can't squeeze into this video, it's all in there. So thanks to Gigabyte for sending this one out. Uh, as I'm recording this video, I've got another one rendering in the background that's going to be up soon, which is the flagship. Uh, we've got KB Eminent, uh, sorry, we've got Ryzen Eminent. Uh, lack of sleep. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, it's helped you decide whether this is the product for you or you, you know, there's something you've seen and thought, well, I don't want to buy this product because reason X, drop it in the comment below. We'll talk it over. Uh, generally, let me know your thoughts on this one and I'll see you guys in my next one.